Hello, Driving Intelligence. Uh, this is the first of a series of videos I'm going to do um, regarding a 4R70W transmission in this 5.4 liter Ford F-150. Um, it's a 2002 model, and uh, this transmission has been acting a little funny lately. I've done a lot of research on this to find out what the uh, potential problem and solutions are. Um, one thing that I did find, which is quite difficult to, uh, to, to find some solutions for on the internet, is that uh, the vehicle is having a shutter when the fourth gear overdrive locks up. Um, I'm also finding that the vehicle is, uh, is holding on to gear a little longer than it should. Um, I'm thinking maybe that there's a flow issue with the, uh, the valve body. Um, so I bought a series of parts I'm going to show in a moment that uh, I've researched to find out could potentially resolve this, especially the shutter. Uh, I'm hoping this resolves the shutter because otherwise what I'm hearing from a lot of uh, experts is that it's likely to be the torque converter. And the work I'm about to do can be done with the transmission still in the vehicle, only removing the pan after draining the fluid and uh, pulling the valve body and doing some work on this. Um, a lot of the, the changes I'm going to do are uh, considered what are considered a J-Mod. So if you look up J-Mod for 4R70W on the internet, um, you'll see a lot of information on that. I bought a, uh, a shift kit that I'll go over in a moment that is supposed to do the same thing as the, uh, as the J-Mod, plus quite a few other parts. I only want to go into this thing once, and I'm uh, touching every fail point that I can touch or potential fail point so that uh, I don't have to do this again because pulling that valve body is uh, a bit of a quite a bit of a messy uh, operation. Uh, more in a moment. So what have I purchased to resolve my shift issues, um, transmission performance issues? So the first thing was this Shift Technology Products um, upgrade kit. It's actually a shift kit. And what I found out is that um, a lot of the police packages that had the 4R70W in it um, were coming back with, uh, with problems, a lot of it uh, involving uh, shift performance, flow, flow issues, uh, generating a lot of heat. This particular package, which actually uh, follows a bit of the J-Mod that I mentioned earlier, uh, was used on a lot of these police packages to resolve this, uh, this issue. And if you'll notice, I also mentioned that I have a... Uh, uh, sloppy shifts and converter shutter. Um, I'm hoping that this actually resolves the shutter, which to me is the biggest problem I've got right now. Um, the kit comes with uh, various components. Um, uh, it comes with the uh, the drills to modify the uh, the separator plate, um, some springs, and a few other uh, parts. I'm going to use everything except these rings, which require the transmission to be pulled. I'm going to save that for a future date in case I have to to pull the transmission. I've also decided to uh, replace all the check balls. I've heard that these wear uh, and they cause flow problems. Um, you can buy these on the internet pretty cheap. I've just ordered some on eBay, 10 of them uh, shipped to my home for uh, I think it's about eight bucks, including tax. It's pretty, uh, pretty cost effective. As part of this kit, the instructions recommend that the EPC solenoid be replaced. The high mileage transmissions um, have a problem with these EPC solenoid performance. Uh, they're just aged. This transmission has 208,000 miles on it, so I decided to go ahead and pick this up, and I'll be replacing that as well. Uh, I bought this on Amazon for, I think it was about $45. Again, I don't want to keep going into this transmission, so researching what are typical fail points for this transmission with this many miles on it, this was one of the things that's recommended. Um, all the shift accumulators I'm going to replace. So this came as one kit. I uh, also got this on Amazon. Um, this takes a bit of work, and to do this, you actually have to uh, use a custom tool. So I had to purchase this on eBay. Um, this tool allows you to compress all the springs that uh, that are pushing against all these these accumulators, shift accumulators, uh, one, two, two, three, three, four, etc. Um, so once the valve body's off. Uh, for me, I felt like it was a good idea to replace these. Some of these things are upgraded, integrated uh, seals. So I just thought I'd uh, go ahead and, and replace this um, and get the tool, which makes it a lot easier. Um, so this actually will replace the pin on this 3-4, uh, this overdrive uh, accumulator. 
the uh, the pin from Sonax actually has an O-ring on it. Um, they say that many times there's wear that occurs either on the pin or in the case. Uh, you can see there's no O-ring on this, and this just uh, snaps on with a snap ring or an E-clip. Uh, this actually replaces this pin and makes sure that there's no flow issues with flow going past this and causing problems with overdrive. The last few things, this tough plate, um, it's also from uh, Technologies Products, which is the shift kit that I bought. It's very thick. Um, these have are prone to cracking um, in, in certain places that uh, because of uh, age and, and, uh, and constant use with the accumulators going back and forth and actually damaging this. So I decided to get this. This is very cheap actually. I think it was about $18 on uh, Amazon delivered. And uh, I have to modify this with, per the shift kit instructions. So it's opening up some of these holes in here with the drills that are provided, the drill bits that are provided in the kit. And then there are three other parts here um, that, that I'll have to uh, replace that are indicative of some of the wear points, fail points. So the valve bypass, bypass clutch uh, control, the, uh, the valve pressure regulator, and also the valve assembly. Um, these all go into the valve body, and I'll be uh, um, updating all those things. There'll be very few items left that I haven't changed, but anything else that could be a wear point, um, could, should be easy to replace while the valve body is still in the transmission, but I'm thinking that this is going to take care of a considerable amount of my, uh, my issues and bring that transmission back to life. The last thing I'll share um, before I post this video and I actually get into the work is this uh, transmission plant pan that I got from Dorman. Um, what you'll see is that it provides a, uh, a drain which makes it a lot easier to remove this thing. Otherwise, if for any of you that have uh, um, replaced these before, you know, just doing a, a, a filter fluid change, it is a stinking mess. Um, you, you can even see over here that it provides a location for the magnet to be replaced. But this is gonna make life a lot easier for me. Um, you reuse the old gasket. Um, pretty nice looking piece, it's powder coated. And uh, so I recommend uh, when you do this work in the future, get one of these. It's uh, relatively inexpensive um, for the amount of uh, um, mess that it saves you from getting into. There is one other part that I uh, ended up purchasing that I didn't mention in the beginning. Uh, it was an afterthought when I started this project, but it was to buy the uh, the shift solenoid that you see here. I'll also provide a link for this on my uh, comment section below. Um, this uh, rounds out everything. The only thing I didn't change was the torque control, torque converter control valve, and the reason for that is that it's pretty easy to change uh, while you're changing the fluid. Um, it doesn't require a significant amount of work. Um, so I wanted to wait and see if I had any problems, and, uh, uh, and I haven't. I haven't had any problem with the uh, TCC valve, so it's the original item from the vehicle. Um, I took a lot of time to put these videos together. I haven't finished anything past part one yet, but uh, the results were very positive. Um, where I was having that shutter with the torque converter, it was completely eliminated. Um, so... The changes that I did, I don't know which one, but I think the, the combination of all the things that I did as shown in, in the part selection in this video had resolved the uh, the shutter. I uh, had more controlled flow through the valve body, um, got rid of uh, most of the leaks or any leaks that I had in the valve body and the uh, shift solenoids. Um, so uh, this this put off my need to uh, to rebuild the transmission or to replace the uh, the torque converter which is something I plan on doing anyway because this vehicle has 214,000 miles on it. But uh, I can uh, definitely depend on this vehicle as it is for now as I uh, uh, rebuild a transmission that I bought used on the side over time, taking my time to get that accomplished. Uh, the next uh, video will show you the quick shifts that occurred. It goes one to three. I didn't get to uh, the uh, three, four shift, but uh, granted, I did resolve my shutter. I hope this helps you, and uh, I hope you look forward to the part two and on as I, uh, I show how I got this accomplished under the vehicle.
Abe and I would like you to subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and provide comments below. See you next time on Driving Intelligence.